So on the day five of Can't Get Online Week, I'm here at the Goats and Roof Cafe in Fontburn in Northumberland, and I'm with Louise and Julie from the Fontburn Internet Project. Um, so do you want to tell me a little bit about what you've been doing here and the difficulties you've had of getting people online in this area? We've, well, we started out with the project, um, it, we went operational in 2008, which as it happens was the centenary of Funkburn in the reservoir, so that was a really good year to do it because it was bringing us right in line with modern technology and, uh, and it took us about a year to plan it, I think, up to that point, didn't it, and to, to actually get people on board. We're just a, quite a small scheme, we've got 11 members, businesses and families combined, uh, which is a little bit unusual. Um, but it's people have stuck with it, it's worked well um, and we're now looking to, I suppose now the first phase is over, we're looking to expand it if we can and increase speeds and tackle the next problem which for us is to give people a choice of provider because what we're getting is still quite slow in terms of the overall speed people are getting which is really, if other people are online, about 1.5 or something like that and we want to increase that speed um, and we want to make it cheaper and have a choice of provider, really, like lots of other people already do across the UK. Mm. So that's where we're up to at the moment. Mm. Mm. No, we have one cis, uh, person who has no, they have no mains electricity, no water, but they have broadband speed now, thanks to us. Well, that's incredible, isn't it? So, so the other utilities they've not got, but the real utility is... You know. It's the fourth utility, isn't it? That's yes. what we've begun to think of it as. You mm, know, we, mm. we, in fact, we were, we were trying to think of a name for our project as we move forward, and we were thinking of something like Fit for You, Frontburn Internet, the fourth utility, because mm. it's something you've got to have. And if you're living in a place like this, as you find with your family, it's, it's even more essential, really, for your family and business. Mm, yeah. Yep, uh, for businesses certainly now, you need to be on for your VAT, your forms, your uh, paperwork, you, you need to be online. You need to defra, yeah, for everything really. Yeah. And then you've got teenage children as well, and they absolutely need it too. Well, and now schools are setting work mm -hmm. online, and so therefore, why should the children in the rural areas be deprived mm -hmm. of an education? Yeah. The other problem is that it's really expensive living out here. It's a long way from anywhere. You'll have found that getting here, I imagine. Um, and it's expensive now, travelling. So it's a real big bonus to people out here if they can do some of their shopping online, if they can compare prices, if they can book things, do some of their banking without having to drive to Rothbury or Morpeth. Um, you know, it, it's, just, it's, just, it's just such a help to be able to do some things online and keep up with the modern world and it saves people money at a time when money's short. And this may seem like a long way but there's a lot of other places in the that are a lot further and their problems are great as well. Yeah, even greater than ours yeah. I would say because, you know, we're, we, we, we think we're really fortunate. We had to work for it and we had to make it happen but we have got a basic internet connection but there are places out in the north of the county, further north than us, that have nothing still. So how they manage, we really don't know. Mm -hmm. <coughs> All right. Thanks.